Hello there, in this guide I want to show you how to fix multiple types of crashes that you may encounter in Dispatch video game on PC. And this includes the most common crash, low level fatal error one, but it should also work with black screens or the game just crashing to the desktop with no errors at all. So let's get to it. Now the first method here is to launch the game in the DirectX 12 mode. You can do this by going to your library of games if you have Steam. Then go to the properties of the game in the launch options and the following hyphen dx12 with no spaces then close this now if you launch the game through a shortcut you can do the same thing by going to the properties of the shortcut go into the end of the target and add in one space then hyphen dx12 then ok and now you can just launch the game and see if it works if it still doesn't we can try running the game in a different API, which is the Vulkan. The link to this website right here will be in the video description. Go to the releases, then download the latest version here in the bottom of the site. Then go to your downloads directory, open the downloaded archive file, then go to the x64 folder. These are going to be the files we need. Now we need to go to where the game is installed for us. If you have the game on Steam, it should be in the following directory, this PC, C drive, program files A to 6, Steam, Steam apps, and then common. Inside common, you will find dispatch folder. Open it, then open this dispatch folder. Binaries, then Win64. Now, all we have to do is to drag and drop all these files right here. An extra thing we can do here while we are in this folder is go into the executable of the game, right clicking, go into properties, compatibility and check in this option, disable full screen optimization, click in OK. Now for the Vulkan to work, we have to remove the DX12 we added before from the shortcut and from the launch options as well. Just like this, we just delete them. And now when we run the game, it should run in the Vulkan API. Now one last thing we can do if the game still crashes for us is to go to the start menu, type run, open the run, and then type app data. Then OK. Now the app data should open with three folders. We go to the local folder, then dispatch, then saved. Now here, first thing we need to try is to delete the config folder. And if it still doesn't work, we can delete the saved game folder. But be careful, because if you delete the saved game folder, all your saved files, your saved progress will be lost. So do this only as a last measure or just back up your files and try if it works. I hope these methods helped you out and peace out.